And welcome to this Maker IO tutorial and today we're going to be learning about how to install uh, libraries into the Arduino IDE. There are three ways which we can do this. We can manually install the uh, libraries themselves, we can use a zip importer on the IDE and we can also use the IDE to automatically download a library and install it into our system which is to be perfectly honest the most preferred method but because not every library is available on the download manager you may have to sometimes manually install them. So the first method that we're going to look at will be the download manager, which is found by going to tools. No, it's not, it's going to go, sorry, going to sketch, include library and manage libraries. So the way we use this manager is we have this search box here and we can essentially search for key terms for our library. So for example, cloud. So let's say I want to make a cloud based project. You can simply type in cloud here and it will come up with a list of libraries that are to do with cloud. So if I type in cloud, ah, here you go, Arduino cloud. Easily connect your Arduino uh, to the Arduino cloud. Okay, cool. So let's get that. So you click that, you can select the version from here and then hit install. And then the download manager will download the zip, install the libraries, and then basically sort everything out for you. And it's done, that's it. Another method for installing libraries is to actually manually download the zip file that contains the library and then import the library using Arduino. So let's say we want a near field communication library. I can go into Google and type in uh, Arduino, oops, Daisy, Arduino near field communication uh, library. My hands aren't the best today, never mind. Uh, and then we've got this one here, so let's go for it. And it's talking about the Arduino library made by Adafruit that does near field communication. Fantastic, so let's go and download it. So let's click this link here. And that brings us to GitHub, which is a nice nice web, uh, website for coding. Uh, clone or download. And then we're going to download as a zip. That's very important. Now, once the download has finished, we are going to drag that to the desktop. So we have a nice, easy location to remember where it is. And then we go into sketch include library and then we click add.zip library. This brings up with the open file dialogue. So we're gonna to go to desktop and then we're gonna go add a fruit master. And down here, library added to your libraries. Check include library menu. So then we go to sketch include library and make sure that it's actually been added. Uh, yeah, there it is, add a fruit PN532. The last method is actually manually installing a library without the Arduino IDE. This is the hardest method, but also provides the user with a bit more flexibility because you can you can actually control the version number yourself and uh, the Arduino IDE, I believe, will not try to update that library if a new uh, update comes out. So to start off, we need to find a library for ourselves. So we'll go to Google. and then we'll look up a library that we want. So for example, I'm looking for an Arduino sound library. Let's say chip two. Come on. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that. So here's our library we're going to download. Again, like before, we go clone all download and go download zip, and that will download the uh, libraries as zip. And we'll drag that to a nice and easy location to find, like the desktop. And then this time, instead of using the IDE, we actually have to open up a folder where Arduino will put the libraries. So in our case, you will find the Arduino libraries under your PC documents Arduino. So now that we're into the libraries folder, we're going to open the zip that contains our library that we want to manually install. Drag the folder across and then open it up and confirm that it has uh, certain files like license and readme, which it does, so that's okay. Then we're going to turn the IDE off. Then we're going to close the IDE and then relaunch it. So once the IDE loads, we can go to sketch, include library, and then look for the library that we installed. And there it is, no problems. So those are the three main ways of installing libraries into the Arduino IDE. Hopefully you learn a few things and thank you for watching.